Like right after the show, we showed in February, so then March we focused on sales. April we started looking at fabrics, textiles, developing, looking at colors, custom making textiles. I designed a collection um, and then we go to Italy, we went to Italy in May. And we start with samples and then we, you know, see things come to life and we do the fittings in like a cheaper fabric, see it on a fit model. Um, you know, we, we alter, we, we look at the sketch, but of course sometimes we say, oh, this is awful, like scrap it, or we say, we imagine this with a sleeve, but we actually don't want a sleeve, or we want a long sleeve. Uh, that's when you get really creative in the whole process. Um, and then we do all the embroidery developments. It's, it kind of all like goes at once, but... Uh I love fur, so I love it so much that I even work with fur during spring summer. <laughs> I think also we're getting more pressure from buyers, you know, like with the season, with the weather changing and everything, like you can wear fur during summer, we do a lot of accessories, and there's actually so many cool techniques that you can do with fur that you treat fur almost like you treat fabric, you know, you can really cut and sew. and do different things so like for example this is a print we did for upcoming season and it's an intarsia so we cut this all out and then you know sew them together when we start working for the for the new season you know of course like we define the colors that I'm gonna work with for the season and then I go to John and then I bring in my fabric swatches and he brings them to the dyer and we match the color exactly to the fabric. So like, for example, the yellow is, yeah. you see, it's like perfect, right? Um, and that's, yeah, because I think bright colors are so much fun, especially for summer, it's yeah. something different. And you can like, also with an accessory, you can really brighten up your outfit, you know? So these are like some of the accessories we're doing. There are heart shaped clutches and then this is like a broken heart. Because this season, like the girl, she's not really into love so much. She's more rebelling against. The whole story, like the whole inspiration is a daughter raiding mom's closet. In the show, you will see actually some dresses that have this repeat. Um, so we developed a print that is stripes and the repeat is like this. So then I brought this to John and I said, okay, let's do an interpretation on the fur. So we're making these beautiful boas and you see it's all cut, so it's super work intensive. It's all cut, combined silver fox in the lime color that we dyed to match with black fox. And of course it will be lined and then what we're doing actually on the lining, we're making pockets so that when you wear your fur boa, you no longer have to... Um, worry about wearing a purse as well. So you have the pockets and you can throw your telephone in there, or your lipstick, whatever. So, and we're really having fun with fur and what you can do with it. Yeah. So, we'll do another color, like, yeah. Yeah. make it a little brighter and spring summer feeling. So what we're doing is it's going to be a yellow coat with purple spots. Maybe it's better purple. Mm -hmm. 
Let me finish it for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this go ahead. <laughs> okay. Remember the coat, the fur coat we had in the last season? Yeah. It also had the intarsia work, black mink with the flowers. So we did it here as well. And when I came in for the fitting to try it on, he said to me, God damn you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that could be nice too yeah. for her. Yeah. yeah. Can you try for me the the black dress? Okay. Well, we just want to have options. So with some girls, you know, right away, like, okay, this is for her 100%. And then with some girls, we take a little bit longer. What? No? Yeah, it looks really nice with pink. Mm. Okay, can we shoot this too, Anna? This is one of the pieces we made in Italy, and I wanted to work with safety pins, so we have them like on the chokers somewhere, and then like this piece, we have a dress running through. Um, it's kind of like about the rebel group. I love the juxtaposition <laughs> between masculinity and femininity. It's the same with playing, like for example with the skirt, it's a very traditional French classic brocade and then we mix it with fishnets, you know, or we have a denim coat and we line this with fishnet. I think it's always about playing with hard and soft masculinity, femininity. So I think this will make the garment interesting. What is your favorite outfit? The dress or the skirt or this? Or you don't like any of them? <laughs> the second one? Okay. All right. All right, so you're done. You can go. Thank you.